So I'm going to talk about the growing seasons in Pennsylvania and my website was from the Penn State Office of the Climatology and it's also in partnership with the Penn State Department of Agriculture. So exactly what is a growing season and when is it in Pennsylvania? So it's also known as a frost free, frost free season and it's the part of the year when crops and native plants can actually start to bloom and grow. And the length of the growing season is measured in two different variables. And one of those variables, I know this is kind of hard to read, but it counts the days of the year when the average temperature is above the temperature at which crops will bloom and continue to grow. But that actually varies with the type of plant. And there are two different kinds of plants that can only tolerate certain temperatures. So there are summer only plants such as tomatoes and they have late fall plants which are hardier plants such as broccoli. So and the average time of the year for Pennsylvania for our growing season is around the middle of April to mid-September. So this is a map of the Northeast especially Pennsylvania with our growing season and for most of Pennsylvania and that's all this purple region is around four to six months the length of the time for our growing season but up here this little patch of pink that's around uh, three to four months for their growing season and you may notice that over here to the side along the coastal regions around New Jersey and Delaware and Maryland is a, lo a lot longer growing season that's because it's going to get a lot colder less quickly and that's because the ocean is going to regulate the temperature of that area so what plants can survive in which seasons so in the fall you're going to have a lot of your hardier plants such as a leafy vegetable, um, cruciferous vegetables, which uh, a couple examples are cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, um, and a lot of root vegetables and stock vegetables such as celery. And you can also have your uh, apples in that season, but that's mostly harvesting time in the fall. But in the summer, you have a lot of your more tender, plants such as cucumbers, basils, uh, peppers, tomatoes, things that are going to have a, they usually have a lot of water content and are more tender to temperature changes. And you have a lot of your fruits uh, in there as well. So this is a plant hardiness zone map of Pennsylvania. And in this more southern regions, you're going to have a lot of your summer plants and they're going to last longer because in the more su southern re regions the temperature is going to be much warmer for a longer period of time. But in your more northern regions and higher elevations here, because this is the Allegheny Mountains, it's going to be you're going to have a lot of your more hardier vegetables because it gets a lot colder a lot more quickly because their growing season is much shorter. And I highlighted them in this star right here, that's the, uh, Cumberland Valley and that's where I'm from and we have a lot of corn crops there because uh, the length of the growing season is a lot longer for the corn in order for it to survive until harvesting time in the fall. So you hear from the National Weather Service a frost and a freeze warnings and advisories. So exactly what's the difference between them? Because when I first, uh, when I heard it in the news, I didn't really know what it was. So here I laid out what the, exactly the difference is. So a frost advisory is the National Weather Service is predicting the temperatures to fall below 36 degrees Fahrenheit or lower and the timing is around 3 hours to 30 hours during the growing season so during that mid-April to mid-September area 
And a freeze warning is the National Weather Service is predicting an 80% or a greater chance that temperatures are expected to fall below freezing, so that 32 uh, degree mark. And the timing is the same as the frost, so it's going to be the next 3 to 30 hours during that growing season. But if the temperature is expected to fall below 28 degrees Fahrenheit, then it's considered a hard freeze. And when a hard freeze occurs, that's when you have the most severe damage to your crops for farmers. And a hard, when temperatures fall below 28 degrees for a long period of time, that's when the National Weather Service determines that the growing season is going to be over. So exactly why do those warnings matter? So water in the plants will freeze at the freezing point of 32 and it causes the plant cells to actually swell up and burst, thus damaging the plant cells. And a quick defrosting or a thawing from those freezing temperatures can actually damage the cells of the crops. So once the cells are damaged, broken, that means the plant is gonna die. So a frozen plant is basically a dead plant. And dead plants are no good for farmers because it's a loss in revenue for them. And we're gonna click to the next slide. Okay. So here is an example of the National Weather Service's freeze and frost map. So here are freeze warnings in the darker purples and the frost advisories in the lighter purples. So I'm going to point out a elevation map to give you a little reference of where exactly the Allegheny Mountains are in Pennsylvania and where the highest elevations are. And over here towards Philadelphia, you're going to have a lot of your valleys. Over here is Cumberland Valley and the Susquehanna River. And this is very, very similar to, this is the start of the frost and the freeze season, which is the end of the growing season. And you can see how similar these maps look. Here are the Alleghenies and the the higher elevations and I pointed out this uh, graph is a little hard to read so the darker greens uh, is the early September and early October so that's when your growing season is going to end in Pennsylvania and then you have your lighter greens which is mid-October to around mid-November and so you have a longer growing season in the valleys of Pennsylvania and you have a very similar correlation, almost exactly the same, is to the end of the freezing temperature, so the start of the growing season. So the start of the growing season is gonna be a lot, is gonna be a lot sooner in the more southern regions and the lower elevations than it is in the higher elevations in the state of Pennsylvania. So here's a quick summary of what I was saying. So there are lots of similarities between elevation and latitude in regards to temperatures and temperatures below or around freezing will make an insane impact on crops. And crops vary in tolerance to the cold. Some are hardier and can withstand the cold and doesn't have a lot of water content in them. So they won't freeze as quickly and be damaged by those freezing temperatures. And the growing season of the crop can also depend on the type of crop and the average temperature in that area. So exactly when the start of the growing season is, um, how cold it is, because it gets a lot colder in the higher elevations and the more northern parts of the state. So it's gonna have a shorter growing season. Thank you.